Michael B. Jordan, Lori Harvey, burning up the internet. Ooh. Ooh. You guys, are you guys for this union? I saw some, some disappointment in intern's eyes just now. He's like, his soul kind of dropped. You all right? You holding up over there? Is she on the list? She's on the list, yes. But she's one of those girls that didn't have clear communication? She no, she's, she's one of the, she's one of the rare few that <laughs> obviously does. Have oh, yo, honestly, everyone in the world might have to buy Steve Harvey's book. Honestly. Fuck that. Nah, her, his book set the foundation for that young lady. Act like a man. Act like a man. Think like a lady. No, think like a man. Think like a man. Act like a lady. Yes. See, that's Lori Harvey right there in a nutshell. Act like a man. I'm getting all these niggas. She hasn't had that many. I mean, she's young. She hasn't had that many. I've known this girl in the media for like a year. <laughs> I, she's dated half of Black Hollywood. <laughs> More power to her. I, I, hey, listen, I rate so it. Honestly, I really Absolutely. feel like she's becoming the Black Marilyn Monroe. She can pull. Ooh. Yeah. I think that's I think that that's her lane. If she if she fucks Biden within this next four years, we've got we've got a live one on our hands, folks. <laughs> she does Joe got a whole lot. Does Joe got a yeah. <laughs> she pops out the cake. <laughs> pops she out the cake at inauguration is it Lori Harvey topless? So get Stevie Wonder's happy birthday. Ooh, remix, oh remix in history. <laughs> Beautiful young life. Listen, in 20 years, uh, they're gonna be selling pictures of Lori Harvey at Winners, Costco, <laughs> uh, Walmart. Just you know those Idea. generic pictures of Marilyn Monroe that are just everywhere. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be Lori Harvey instead, <laughs> with quotes. <laughs> Diamonds are girls' best friends. <laughs> um, yeah, um, no, this Michael B. Jordan relationship. It's kind of giving me publicity stunt though. I mean, I would you, you would know Miss Industry. I'm not industry. Are these are these the strings they pull? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if like Michael B. Jordan was like, "Hey, you know, she be getting people's names out. Maybe he has a film coming out. Does he have a film coming out soon? Um, mm. probably. Doesn't he always? No. Well, you know what? This is, I guess, what you're saying works into my theory. I think that they're um. <laughs> And part of my French, I think they're niggering him up for uh, Black Panther, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're blackifying this man as much as humanly possible. We're going to see a video of him doing the electric slide in like two weeks. Watch. Oh, it says he might have. Uh, <laughs> he's going to, he's going <laughs> to, I'm telling you, it's, he's going to be doing the electric slide. It's going to be, um, what's it called? He's going to drop a freestyle on SoundCloud for absolutely no reason. Um, mm. He's going to be featured in like a Migos video. Wait, you, like know he video. Has, you know he already has a song, right? Oh, I know he already has a song. Should, do I need to is play it? The green dress? <laughs> play it. Play it. Play it. Oh, no. oh, God. This is the worst the world song knows. ever. But this is also, the worst song his, ever. A lot of people see him as like, a bachelor. So I'm just for you on a bright shining star. Everywhere I look, there you are, there you are. It's the girl in the green dress. She took my breath away. And now I look to the sky for a better day. To the beach shore, bring Scooby snacks. I met a fly girl and I can't relax. Never had to be on the movie screen. Cause she's the leading lady in all my dreams. Come on. Oh it's my. giving me old town vibes. Oh Even music video reminded me. It's of giving old me old kids Bob. It's <laughs> giving me. Diet Macklemore. <laughs> and his main lady was Caucasian. Oh, she was from the Caucasus of Caucasus Mountains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me show you. She was so white. She was, they her. filmed this on the beach and sure you didn't have no tan. Yeah. <laughs> like, she, she looked like boiled chicken. Oh All right. Okay. <laughs> Maybe her, uh, his PR team was like, hey, like, there's just this protection that he's like a ladies' man. And maybe they're trying to, you know, he is a ladies' man. I, I mean, yeah, but maybe they're like, oh, if we put him with Lori Harvey, it's going to get crazy press. It's going to seem like he's willing to commit or whatever. Maybe he can get some new brand deals, some new type of movies, and 
switch up, you know? Like I think it's more so just to change his image into liking black women. I think it's 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 much simpler. Oh, yeah, true, because he was only dating Ooh. white women. People they just it's a constant there's memes, there's a running joke that Michael B. Jordan loves white women, right? Exclusively almost. Um and that video, they always bring up that video because it does not help. <laughs> He's talking about a girl being his leading lady and you have this white girl dancing like she's in a tampon commercial. Um, but the, they're saying that it's, the goal is to change his image and to push a movie. And Lori has a deal with uh, the Shade Room for exclusive images and interview. And it's a business ship, not a relationship. It works perfectly for Lori Harvey because... Lucky for her, Michael doesn't want sex. Uh, yo, I hate when people start just talking like they know more <laughs> intimately. Give your theory and go. <laughs> this works perfectly for Lori Harvey because Michael doesn't want sex. How does she, how do you know that? Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. She said, like I said, it's not it's not it's a business deal. They're not even in the same room. And there's a picture. <laughs> these detectives. There's a picture of Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan hugging in one washroom and the other washroom appears to be different when really it's just a different angle of the washroom. So, yeah. Um, what I will say is that video of them jumping in the snow yeah. read as publicity stunt for me, to be honest. For sure. That one, that did not look genuine at all. <laughs> yeah. I want to know why someone was filming them there that moment. <laughs> and because, I don't know, content. I, don't I know. guess. But like, <laughs> okay, we. I think the public seen uh, had seen her with someone else before. I don't know who it was before this relationship and assumed that this relationship is really fresh and new, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think new fresh relationships um, are pictures up? Because I'm looking at the pattern, right? Mm -hmm. When she was a future, she ain't posted a picture of that nigga once. When she was with whoever she was with before that, I think she was with a baseball player at some point or something like that. Um, Maybe with a soccer player. She, or a soccer like, player. When I, first, <laughs> when I first learned who she she really was um she was with a soccer player and they were engaged and she used to post him all the time yeah she used to post him all the time mm -hmm. um and then after that every man that she was rumored to be with she reposted them like that like if she posted them it was like her foot in their mouth and <laughs> she, <laughs> she she wasn't in the picture at all you know what i mean whereas she, she used to date uh, Justin Combs. I don't remember if she posted him. I've never seen a picture of them together, so this I doubt. Before, it. like this was like years ago. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, no, like I, I'm just saying the pictures and videos that we've seen thus far have all been paparazzi. No. No, but future future has definitely been on her Instagram. Uh, I think it's been maybe on her Insta story. I think his slippers were on her Instagram, and people <laughs> had slippers at one point. No, he that picture in the hotel. He, he gave her her twenty first or twenty second, twenty third. I don't know what birthday she's at right now. Uh, one of those birthdays. Um, but he never. She Jamaica, wasn't in the video. To Jamaica, and he yeah, wasn't in the video though. It was just her and her girls. I'm pretty sure there was a picture of her and him. I don't remember that. I don't know. Maybe. Who cares? Regardless, I'm just saying there's a pattern. Even if we have to be like, oh, there's that one picture. The, if these two are in a fresh relationship and we've already seen 24 pictures and two videos, this it's, it's, it's reading as a publicity thing. Yeah, I remember that picture now. Yeah. And that both their heads are turned away. Yeah, I remember that picture. <laughs> yeah. And she posted this. I remember these ones. So she used to post future. What I will say is out of all the relationships, other than her first like boyfriend, uh, fiance guy that was heavily involved in her family and always around, like I don't think she's posted really anybody. Because I remember they said uh, she was dating Trey Song as well. There was that picture of her foot in his mouth. Yeah. And that was um, it. Meek Mill. Was there a Meek Mill moment? No, Meek Mill just had her on the wish list. I got Lori Harvey on my wish list. <laughs> hey, he, he's he's a good is, he is never getting Lori Harvey. <laughs> she's 
interested in. That. She seems too quiet. We haven't even heard her speak. That guy's loud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Lori Harvey sounds like. That's what somebody said. They were like, this is the first time I ever heard her say anything. And that was in the video where he threw her in the snow and she was just like, why? Or something oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> that still isn't her voice. That's girls trying to be cute voice with their boyfriend. We know that voice. <laughs> I just got the finger. I just got the uh, finger. <laughs> uh, um, if this is a publicity stunt, is there anything wrong with that? Whose fault is it that the stunt works? Um, our fault. Our just fault. Ignore it. <laughs> uh, you think that's, that's ever going to happen? That's everything that anybody wants to talk about. Like, they love talking about Lori Harvey, who she's dating and who she's seen with. It's but, like, let that girl be. And then there's all the think pieces of whether or not she's being passed around or she's just enjoying life. Or, well, that's blah, just blah, blah, men, blah. just as men doing being scared again. You know, when men get scared about women having some sort of power. And so they start to diminish that power publicly and hope that other people join in. Because realistically, and it, we're in 2021. The niggas aren't even saying ho and slut anymore. And if they are, God bless, find a therapist. But if you are talking about this girl and saying, yo, she can't, you guys read this girl, she's getting ran through. She's fucking, oh, one man to the next man. This girl's just hopping dick to dick to dick. And like publicly trying to shame this action, even though you know tons of people like that in your personal life. <laughs> um, it's, it's the fact that you do not, in my opinion, these men do not want women to realize that they can do that, that that is okay. That mm -hmm. that is, there is a power in doing that. And you're seeing She's power it. in doing that. Lori Harvey, like we said, hasn't said a word until last week. <laughs> and has garnered so much more attention than people who have been in the game for years. You know what I mean? And so there's a power in what she's doing, especially the fact that she's choosing to do it with niggas that women literally lose their life over. These aren't like just some guys who happen to be good looking. These are people who the media has also propped up as ladies, men, as people you want to be attracted to. So when you factor that in, imagine it, this. Look at how the way that we treat Nick Cannon, the way that we treat Bow Wow and the way that we treat Drake. Man's call them legends. Oh, my we God. Yo, that guy. Yo, Bow Wow's Bow Wow's roster. Yo, Bow Wow's has one of the rudest lists. And now well, you have a woman, woman that have a one too, of the man. rudest lists in, in black Hollywood history. And mind you, she's still not even on like, she's still not even on like Princess Diana's wave. Like Princess Diana was out here even. You know what I mean? Like there's so many different women throughout history that have gotten the powerful men or gotten the men that most women want and made history just for doing that. <laughs> I.e. Marilyn Monroe at some point. Um, before the acting and modeling, all that shit. So, Megan Markle. Uh, no, Megan Markle never did that. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> she did like a complete opposite of that. <laughs> she was like never with a man until the prince. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's just it's interesting uh, the position that some men will take, and then seeing the woman, and that's how you know you're in a different age now. Seeing the woman fiercely defend Lori Harvey. Any man says anything out of pocket on Twitter, you're getting flamed. You're getting ratioed. <laughs> People are going ham. So it's like even men, you know what I mean, defending her. So it's like we're, you're seeing the wheel turn a little bit, but we still have the insecure men that will always be there to say these things. We're never going to get rid of it. And I think that once people realize that, they'll try, stop trying to like – do this heal the world thing on every single topic because there's gonna always be insecure guys. It's just that's a fact. The biggest thing is insecure fucking men. Like yeah. even with like what I was saying about past current situation, him deciding to post that shit and like deleting it within a couple hours, realizing how fucking stupid it was. It's like, what does it matter what I'm doing? 
we don't talk we haven't talked in months like i'm just living my life being happy being like free right Hit her. And it's a problem Hit her. i'm screaming for attention from you like no nigga i'm not like <laughs> mm. abandonment it's abandonment issues at the end of the day yeah yeah it's bad if you there's think so you're many, lonely now. There's so many men who do that shit that just think that, you know, we post a picture and it's like, oh, we want somebody's attention. Like, really? Well, because they're back in the day. Not, when women dress up, look good, whatever, they don't do it for a men's attention for real, for real. We just do it because we want to, like, you know, feel good. Feel like, good and look good. About, we don't give a fuck about what most people's opinions are about it you know yeah. what I mean? well i think it's it's just a practice that has been going on for centuries um that was way more effective before women collectively had a voice mm -hmm. and so now you're seeing that pushback i think men have always jumped on and started a witch hunt um in terms of any woman look at women who used to um be promiscuous back in, in like the medieval times these niggas called them witches <laughs> they literally said these women do magic. <laughs> and they like they've made up anything they could to try to diminish and keep women in a certain role in a certain line. Mm -hmm. And I think you always are going to run into that when working with someone or something that's more powerful than you. They're, like in terms of physical strength, men groomed and breeded as hunters for centuries, thousands of years. And with that, the women, most women at least, did not have the tools to defend themselves. So if a man says, you're doing this, what are you, what are you supposed to say? <laughs> Especially when you can't talk to another girl and her act, like, realistically, it's almost like slavery where you gotta all pretend like master's a good guy, but you all secretly think he's a piece of shit. But no, everyone's afraid to say it because they don't know how and who's going to defend Massa if you come out and say some shit. So if women go to another woman now and say, I don't like the way he's treating me. I don't like the way he's doing this and that and this and that. You don't know if that woman's going to snitch to the husband just to get more points with her husband. <laughs> you know what I mean? And once you have that cycle practiced and practiced over hundreds of years, it, you're just still going to run into it no matter what. Like now you just have women that can push back collectively. They don't have to do it by themselves anymore. So I don't think we're ever going to see a change in that ever. Someone's always going to be more powerful until women start dunking in the WNBA. Then, you know, <laughs> then uh, you know, <laughs> see the tides turn. If we start seeing some windmills, 